Don't go up there! Careful, careful, careful! Oh, I wouldn't do that. Don't go up there! Very stupid. Don't go up there! Silly cyclists! Welcome to episode 49 of Silly Cyclists. I'm your host Gaz and we'll be starting right off at number 10. Just watch this guy up in front to my right. He's going to take the corner quite sharp, pretty fast and still pedaling. So his lean in is quite high and uh, you'll see his pedals get damn close to hitting the ground. And I think that they actually do. And you want to be careful with this. If you've got long crank arms, you want to be careful when pedaling and leaning over. Normally you're taking a corner like this. You always put outside pedal down. You don't gain much from the pedaling. Um, just get a little bit out of the saddle and put some hammer down afterwards. Number nine. Video of myself just uh, riding along. The pavement here is shared use but uh, turns to not uh, just here. So try to do a cyclocross dismount. Slip. Damn. Twist my ankle really badly. Freaking hurt so much. And uh, right in front of some tourists as well. So uh, I had someone come up to me and ask me if I'm alright, but like seriously twisted my ankle and I was lucky I was still able to ride home. Um, so be careful out there. Number 8, uh, so you see again another shared use area and this guy just slots right across. It's uh, it's pretty usual here that people know to cycle on the left and uh, it was he, he kind of messed it up a bit going to the right there a bit too early. Uh, number seven, a clip, a clip here from Atom Boy, 83, and a cyclist is just going to come up on his left in just a second uh, and pass him. It's a shared use path, both two way, and you'll see here another cyclist is forced dr drastically to swerve. Uh, perhaps the other cyclist not having a light had a bit to play and made it quite difficult to see, uh, but you can see here he had to go on the other side of the road uh, to avoid a collision. Number six, a clip here from Helen Clarkson. Just watch the cyclist in front. Uh, it's always key when thinking about filtering past other vehicles to kind of anticipate what the traffic is going to do. So initially here, the cyclist probably could have fitted through. Um, but we'll see, uh, or well, we saw, sorry, that the traffic started moving just as they got in f next to the van. And uh, pretty close wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and uh, some words being said there. Number five here, a clip from AB person. On the other side of the road, coming the other way, there's another cyclist. Uh, stopping, or should I say, attempted to stop at the lights, hasn't quite done it. Looks like potentially they're trying to track stand, uh, not doing it so well, and they're just edging ever so slightly forward. And then they're just like, ah, screw it, I'm going to go. And uh, the other cyclist is unsure what's going on, stops and causes a kerfuffle, some horns tooted. Uh, just stop at red, it's simple as that. Number four. Lots of zebras around this area, and... Uh, some people don't quite behave as they should do on them here, weaving through the pedestrians. You don't really gain much by this, and I actually caught the guy up really easily. Um, you know, just take it easy, take it slow, let pedestrians cross. Number three. So this isn't actually the start of this silly cyclist, but um, I just wanted to show this part as well. Uh, so they stop at a red light. Uh, as you do, and obviously here I'm checking out the new Bodines, mm -mm -mm. and uh, they just go through the red light, I call it out, and uh, he says, oh, it's okay, because he's turning left, so going through the red light and riding on the pavement, um, I don't think it's okay, but anyway, the, the real reason why it's so high is, you'll see here again, he's on the right, pretty far, this is a two-lane road, so he's in the other lane, uh, doing a track stand, and as the lights turn, he comes straight across to the left, straight away, Literally, look, he's there, and then now he's next to my side, and he's pretty damn close to me, nearly touching handlebars. That's pretty bad as it is, but if you watch in the rear view shot, which you'll see in a second, uh, this is slowed down to something like 33%, um, you'll see that he actually forces the guy on the far left now to stop pedaling as the wheels come so close to touching, and that would have taken that guy down. Maybe the motorcyclist would have ridden over him or into him, um, and you can see here he's damn close to me as well. Uh, when setting off with some traffic lights, keep in a straight line for, for a few metres. Have a look around behind you. If it's clear to move over to the left, do so. Otherwise, keep your straight line. Number two here, a clip from Georgie1967 Tiger. And uh, this guy doing a pretty usual overtake on another cyclist in traffic. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you'll see here, yeah, passing pretty much okay. But he's doing the classic left hook. Uh, and you'll see here, just going to take the turn. Look, it's literally right before the turn, and he takes the turn. No indication. Why would you do that? Literally, why would you do that? 
Why? It is ridiculously stupid. It's it's that must get in front mentality that we always see from other other road users on us that they gotta gotta overtake you, gotta take that left turn. Just don't do it. Just wait. Number one here. Watch this cyclist in front of me. It's, this is probably some of the worst cycling I, I'd seen, and this was on Tube's Tube Strike Day a couple of weeks ago in London, and uh, I, I had some words with this guy, and I don't think he was happy with that. Uh, you can watch my channel. Um, Later, I'll put the video up so you can see what was said. Uh, but you see how damn close he was to that woman. He was so close. And she he forced her to stop uh, because it was that damn close. I don't think... I've, I've seen some pretty damn close passes from other cyclists, and usually club riders. Um, but this guy doesn't look like club rider. And uh, he, was, he was pretty damn close to someone that doesn't look like they've been on a bike for a long time. And uh, perhaps... Maybe just cycling because of tube strike day, but you don't know. But uh, you got to give other people space. We ask it from cars, so you got to give other cyclists space because uh, it's just damn right dangerous if you don't. Anyway, that has been episode 49 of Silly Cyclists. I hope you've enjoyed. Please uh, like and comment um, and discuss if you think any of these are in the wrong order. Uh, as by no means is this a limited... To this top 10 and I am open to discussion about which one you think is worse and why and that can be any of the 10 maybe my twisted ankle is the worst who knows uh, I certainly feel embarrassed for it and I shall also put that video up so other people can laugh at me screaming and swearing as it really did fucking hurt uh, excuse my language anyway as always ride safely out there